Hi, today we're going to walk through Woodmiser's MP260 four-sided planer molder. While being affordable and easy to use, the MP260 turns rough sawn wood into a variety of finished wood products. The MP260 handles everything from simple planing all the way up to large four-sided moldings. Rough sawn boards go in, and four-sided plane and molded boards are produced in one pass. Let's say you have a contract to renovate an old home, and you need to produce new wood floors, replace wall panelings and baseboards, with the MP260, you can make everything you need to complete the project. It's easy to adjust and has user-friendly measurement scales. The viewing window lets you supervise a cutting process. You have large capacity for four-sided molding or planing and even larger capacity for one-sided or two-sided molding or planing. The MP260 comes with a full set of planer knives included in your purchase. Additional knives profiles can be ordered through Woodmiser. At the control panel, you start and stop the cutter motors and power feed motor. Every cutter has its own dedicated motor, so you start each one individually, and then the power feed. Let's go ahead and turn them on. You also have the stop button and the emergency stop button. Power rollers move the wood through the machine. You can adjust the feed speed of the power rollers right here. Inside the MP260, you have full access to the top and bottom horizontal cutters and the two vertical spindles. The feed rollers press down on the board and move it through the machine. Even if the board is bowed, the feed rollers will hold it down flat so you get a consistent profile from end to end. The first four rollers are made of steel and the last roller is made of polyurethane so that your finished profile isn't damaged. As the board moves through the machine, the bottom cutter planes the bottom of the board smooth or cuts a molding profile. Depending on the cut depth you need, you can switch out this metal plate with one of several different sizes. You just remove the screws and you can switch out a plate of a different size. After the board passes over the bottom cutter, the right edge of the board meets the first vertical spindle cutter, which is stationary. Cutting knives can be placed on the spindle at different heights using spacers. These side rollers keep pressure on the board edge so the board is kept firmly aligned during the cutting process from both the top and the sides. Then the board's left edge meets the second vertical spindle cutter, which can be adjusted in and out depending on the width of your material. Like on the first vertical spindle, cutting knives can be set at different heights. Lastly, the board passes under the top cutter, which planes or molds the top surface of the board. When you adjust the cutting height, everything moves together to stay precisely aligned. There are various extraction points located near the cutters to keep the chips from building up. Woodmiser provides various extraction systems depending on your needs. Changing out your cutter knives takes approximately 10 to 20 minutes. Some customers keep extra spindles with commonly used profiles installed at all times. To align the knives with each other, you can just use the lines on the cutter head. With Woodmiser's range of sawmills, kilns, and planer molders, you have everything you need 
to process your logs from rough sawn timber into final wood products. And this planer molder isn't new. It first appeared on the market in the 1990s. The Swedish company that produces them is now a part of the Woodmiser family. Woodmiser's planer molders are still made in Sweden by the same people who designed, improved, and produced them for more than 20 years. Woodmiser is excited to build on that legacy in order to supply woodworkers with the tools they require. The MP264 sided planer molder is available now. Visit Woodmiser online for more information or talk to your local Woodmiser dealer to get started.